what is up fpg fam further here and welcome back to another aether gazer video today we're gonna be showcasing drip god himself the gentleman oceanus we're gonna go over his stats my current build for him and then i'm gonna go ahead and take him into hazard zone cleaning so i do hope you enjoyed today's video hope you get some value from it if you missed the polls i'll leave it linked at the end of this video to check out you can see it was pretty amazing we had a good time over there uh and then before we jump into the video did want to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of the channel gamer subs and the reason being is because we have an amazing deal that's happening at this time this friday i believe the 27th if i'm not mistaken if you buy one tub of gamer subs any tub of gamer subs using my code further beyond gaming at checkout to get 10 percent off that tub you get a free waifu cup that is incredible they don't do that often so you can go ahead and get 10 percent off your tub and you can get a free waifu cup it's a win 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 situation and then of course you help support the channel so we can do bigger and better things a link to gamer subs will be in the description down below i know oceanus is incredible down below go ahead and click that link and then once again use my code further beyond gaming at checkout thank you guys so much for all the support i do truly appreciate it let's go ahead and take a look at the build first and then we'll go ahead and hop into the showcase so oceanus i have him at just base s rank one thing i forgot to mention in my pulling video let me go over to that really quickly before we go into the build one thing i forgot to mention is with oceanus because he's in the standard banner you can actually if you pull him you can go over to the reoccurring dream in the shop and you can actually farm out double s rank and triple s rank for your oceanus so that is a thing that you can do now i'm still gonna go ahead and pull him because i'm only 20 pulls away from pity on the standard so i might as well do that double s him and then farm out the triple s so i'm hoping to have my oceanus looking pretty spicy when things are all said and done now let's go over the build at this time so base s rank level 80 you can see my stats here 6,000 attack little over 6,000 attack 35% crit rate, 36, 40%. Where did 36 come from? 40% <laughs> crit damage. I have no clue where that came from. And you can see the rest of the stats here. 40% normal attack, 20% ultimate skill damage. Pretty part of the course, right? Nothing, nothing crazy there. In terms of the stats, 39, 39, all maxed out. Let's just put it that way. Um, I did a breakdown for him uh, in a separate video. So if you want to check that out, I may have that one linked at the end of this one possibly or you could just check the channel it's a breakdown on all of his skills and what he's doing essentially you're going to be normal attacking with him he's a trace modifier so you're going to be building up traces using your skill one you're going to be having ghosts out on the field or clones um, and essentially you're going to use those clones to be able to do more damage he's very fast all over the place he covers a lot of distance i mean this modifier just to go ahead and talk about it really quickly is incredibly fun to play he's fluid he's smooth He's just a lot of fun once you get him down packed. And he's uh, he's a really good time in my opinion. If you have him, let me know in the comments down below how you've been enjoying him. I've been thoroughly enjoying this modifier. Um, we do have his signature functor. We have his access key leveled out to 60. Signature functor, I mentioned this in the pulling video. Some people are asking me whether this is necessary. I don't think it's necessary to have this. It's just really, really good for him. But it's not a necessary thing in order for Oceanus to be strong. He'll be strong without it but this just really takes them above and beyond like most signature functors do for most modifiers it's going to give you a little bit of crit rate 10 percent not really anything too insane right there but a nice additional 10 percent is always a good thing and then you're going to have a combo count that's going up and you're going to be able to get more damage from that more water damage more damage in general so it's just allows your oceanus to be a greater dps than what he already is so signature functor is nice but not necessary moving over to the sigils i went with the standard one i do have them all maxed out level 60 a lot of resources but we have mermaids tier and the decree of the waves i believe the decree of the waves is the new one that came out i could be mistaken you can let me know in the comments down below mermaids tier came out with leviathan if i'm not mistaken you can correct me in the comments down below uh, but basically we're increasing water damage and we're lowering the enemy's water resistance Distance. we're increasing crit rate uh with the mermaids tier so that's always a nice thing and then the decree waves we're going to get traces back and then when hitting an enemy with a normal attack which is what you're doing all the time with oceanus you're going to increase attack by nine percent for nine seconds so even more damage there and then when you expend the traces you're going to increase crit damage by 15 percent very nice for nine seconds so just you know good damage coming out of both these sets uh so just went with this one and maxed them out now oh I forgot to show off the skill effects skill effects five four and five this could be much better 
right this could definitely be optimized a lot more i will work on that once again resources you see my coins up there <laughs> moving over to the warp as you can see i have not fully warped this out just yet that's going to take some time resources uh but you can see what i'm going with i'm going with melee i'm going with the lower than hp right here normal attack i decided to go with skill one because you're doing that quite often so i thought why not let's go ahead with the skill one um and then we have the skill two because the skill two hits pretty hard so i decided to go with that i just went with kind of like a mixture uh, uh different things and kind of spread spread it all out in a sense when it came to the warp uh the higher than hp right here once again just spreading everything out base damage of skill two just wanted to go ahead and have that now i did the zero time and the modified mode for a few reasons one well really just one reason <laughs> not a few reasons just one reason and that's his team that i put him on it's a full olympus team with hera and arctic abyss poseidon i think that's a really good team for him in my opinion and so when i do that we have hera who procs the zero time naturally so we're going to be able to get this pretty often plus you want to actively try and dodge and trigger that for oceanus dodge skill is very important so zero time is something that we want to be in all the time so i, I thought that was important to have for the four percent i think it was pretty pivotal and then for the modified mode when you have a full olympus team and then you have the Mialjo for the uh modified mode you are extending that greatly so you're going to be in that even longer so i think you're going to be able to take full advantage of the seven and a half percent when in modified mode and do tons and tons of damage so that's what i went with with the warps and then i need to go ahead and finish that out so i will do that at a later time and then the aether codes i don't have them all unlocked as you can see so for right now i'm just going with the full yellow i i do like what the yellow is doing um i don't know if this is going to be the most optimal i have to try the other ones out and once again you can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh, the yellow one is pretty interesting essentially the skill two, uh the great confluence or is that skill three i gotta double check i think that might be skill three the range is going to be decreased but your damage is going to be increased per ghost that is absorbed which is skill three um if i'm not mistaken once again so that's pretty interesting um and I, you know i just feel like i'm going to be able to get a lot of damage out of this one and then the normal attacks when they crit you're going to be triggering riptide as you can see we had some decent crit rate and then we get even more from the sigils that we're using so i think crit rate is something that we're going to be able to do quite often crit i should say with the normal attack so we're going to be able to trigger the riptide which is within skill one i'm going to double check that here in just a second and then the last one right here you're going to increase your water damage dealt by the mod by 18 percent for three seconds uh, when the mod and the ghost hit the same enemy within 0.3 seconds um so that's something that is i don't think too difficult to do and then when ghosts hit the same enemy within 0.3 seconds it's going to reduce the water resistance so we're get, getting even greater water resistance reduction on the enemy pairing that with the sigil it's a lot of water resistance reduction right so uh this is just gonna allow them to hit a little bit harder but if we take a look at the other ones uh, i am very interested in this full side right here because we're increasing water damage dealt by 18 percent when the dodge is triggered once again something you're actively trying to do and then if we do this one increase the attack by 24 percent for six seconds when the mod triggers the dodge effect and then the last one right here is very interesting shortens the dodge effect cooldown by five seconds so you can do it more often and then it grants the following effects when triggering the dodge effect basically when there are ghosts on the field tapping the dodge you're going to swap the mods position with the ghost that's the furthest away and you're going to trigger the dodge effect and then the new ghost appears at the mods original position so where you were originally and it triggers the tributary flow so <laughs> this one I, I don't know how useful this is going to be but I it just sounds like a very fun play style so I definitely want to try this one out just for the fun factor and then this one right here, uh, for every one ghost on the field, it's going to increase mods attack by 6%. You can have three ghosts, so 18%. That's a pretty pretty decent percentage, right? And then casting Tide Surge no longer requires a minimum of two traces onwards. That's within your second skill. So that is very beneficial. You know, not the most profound thing ever, but it's definitely a uh, quality of life right there. And then the last one here extends the duration of the buff from the Great Confluence. Once again, skill three by four seconds not bad right not bad at all so i do want to try them all but for right now we'll be doing the yellow aether code path for the showcase let me go back here so rushing river ebb and flow tide surge yeah great confluence is within the skill three and then the riptide was within skill one 
If, uh, or is it within the normal attacks? I think it's within, yeah, it's within the normal attack. Ocean Blur. Riptide. Yeah, Riptide in the normal attack. The ghost on the field dashes towards the locked on enemy dealing water damage. Yeah. So that is within the normal attack. Okay, so then the Riptide on the Aether Code. Triggers Riptide each. Oh, that's actually very bad. I think the yellow Aether Code is, is sneakily good. <laughs> is sneakily good. So every time you do a normal attack when it crits, it's going to trigger the Riptide. It's going to be every three seconds, though. So interesting. Yeah, anyways. Um, so that's what I have on my Oceanus. Once again, pretty decent. Could be much better. Um, but let's go ahead into that showcase at this time. All right, so we're going to do the hardest hazard zone cleaning, and you can see the team right here, Oceanus, Hera, and Arctic Abyss Poseidon. I might do a separate video on some team builds for Oceanus. I think this is going to be one of the better ones that you could put alongside them, and you can see the Meowjul and what I'm using with that Meowjul. But let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that video for team builds for Oceanus. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, we got to get gamer mode activated here. Make sure I'm ebbing and flowing. Yes, I meant to say that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we could do here. I got to make sure I'm on point, but I have been thoroughly enjoying Oceanus. I'm going to do skill two uh, just because of how fast he is, how flashy he is. We have all traces. I'm going to do dodge right there. I'm going to dodge again. Make sure I'm not getting hit. Dodging often. Because once again, you want to actively try and get the dodge. It's so beneficial. I'm going to go and do skill two. He just he just has so much AoE. That's what I love about him. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get the let's get the buff up right here. And while we got the buff up, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ultimate because why not? Um, let's go ahead and do Arctic Abyss. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, we're in modified mode, so this is where we try and absolutely cook. Now I want to get more traces here which is perfect we have all traces all go so we're going to try and do as much damage as possible right there that's what you want to do with skill three is have all traces all ghosts so that way you're doing max damage that's a lot of damage <laughs> yo was that 10 mil oceanus is nutty absolutely nutty let's go ahead and get the buff up again do we have all traces all ghosts we don't have all ghosts but we have all traces. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and ult. Why not? He's just all over the place, man. This is one of the, if not the funnest. Oh, I got hit hard. That guy's still alive. I thought he died. Uh, play style in the game. Okay, we have. Oh. I guess we're gonna use it on him. <laughs> uh, we got hit a couple times, which is not great. Let's go ahead and do her ult. Okay. I gotta, I gotta stick and move. Especially with, with what's her name out there. She hits so hard. I don't know her name actively. But she hits so hard. Um, let's do this. She disappeared at the wrong time. Alright, we got that at least. I did skill 3 at the wrong time too. I feel like we should just get this guy out of here real quick. Okay. Let's do skill two. Uh, let's do skill three. Okay, I was about to say, I think somebody's about to go in modified mode, but unfortunately, we don't have any traces. Um, let's go ahead and do the ult. Why not? While we have it. Gonna do that. Let's do her ult. Let's do that again. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. That's a lot of damage. Let's see if we can dodge out of there. Okay. Alright, we got that. Um, And I like his dodge. His dodge goes so far. Alright, we're going to be cooking here now. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, let's do this because we have all of them. All resources. Okay. She's trying to cook. We can't. We can't let her. Beautiful. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, that should have been the last trace right there. Uh, let's do the ult. Oh, please stay still. <laughs> Don't move. Awesome. All right, she's done. She's absolutely cooked. With this ult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he does a lot of damage. Uh, and, you, and that's base S rank Oceanus uh, with, you know, pretty, pretty good investment, right? Level 60 sigils and all that good investment, but they can be optimized a lot more and I can optimize my gameplay with them a lot more as well. Um, I need to practice with them some more, get my rotations down a little bit better when it comes to my skills, but you can see the potential. This man can spit out some damage. I am going to double S him um, at some point. And then we'll go ahead and revisit him with another showcase as well as optimize his skills so that way we have some better damage output and get that last warp we don't even have that last warp and the warps aren't all leveled up as well um so that's another thing so there's a lot more potential for damage to increase but you could already see you know we're, we're doing a lot we're doing a lot of damage and i think this is a really good team for him because you freeze the enemies you got zero time modified mode for forever so uh I, I i'm thoroughly enjoying this modifier anyways i hope you guys enjoyed once again let me know in the comments down below what you think and i'll see you all in the next one remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody you call me further oh damage stats um yeah <laughs> what is that 46 mil 172,000. yeah hold on was hera cooking hold on 189 no six mil okay no we were cooking <laughs> i was like hold on was hera cooking no no we were cooking <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get on out of here thank you guys so much remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody you call me further i'll see you all next one bye guys